Hello everyone, welcome. We're live. It's Thursday Q&A live with me, Phil, here in the Digital DJ Tip Studio. And Thursday is all about you. It's all about your questions, things we can help you with in your DJing. Could be your gear, could be music, could be learning the techniques of DJing, could be problems with playing out and promoting, could be any of those things. We're here to help. So if you're new to all of this, I'm Phil. I'm the founder of Digital DJ Tips, the biggest online DJ school in the world. We also have digitaldjtips.com, the website. You're probably watching this on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. We have all those places as well. And twice a week, we go live on a Tuesday and a Thursday at this time to do something completely free for everyone. So that's what this is. It's one of our free live shows to help you become a better DJ and a better DJ producer. And if you're not a member of Digital DJ Tips, now is your chance. Just join by going there. It's absolutely free and we'll give you a copy of that book that we showed you at the beginning uh, just as a thank you for joining us. So grab your free, free copy of that book there and also become our latest member. We'd love to have you. DigitalDJTips.co slash join is the way to do that. Right, we've got a lot to talk about this week. Uh, I would like your questions, please. Any questions about your DJ, but also questions about What's going on in DJing? Because there is an awful lot going on in DJing, which is why we're a little bit late going live today, because we've been trying to get it all covered on the website. So what's going on? Well, I guess the big news of the day is that Pioneer DJ has teased what looks very much like a new CDJ player, a new media player. Uh, and we're calling it as potentially the CDJ 3000. Well, I say we are. Um, it was on their Instagram that they teased this. And that's the general consensus on Instagram, that it's a replacement for the uh, the Nexus uh, 2, the, the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. So we've got an article about that over on Digital DJ Tips. You can uh, see the article and also go and watch the video where we kind of dissect Pioneer's 15 second little piece over on their Instagram. Uh, but there's a lot more going on as well. There is a new engine software if you're a Denon DJ Prime user that brings Dropbox integration so you can have cloud music, your own music in the cloud and play it from any Denon DJ Prime system anywhere in the world, which is pretty mind-blowing, really. Uh, and also, it's got much more accurate beat gridding and beat sources in there as well for the first time. We've uh, also just published a video manual for the Prime 2. That's just completely coincidentally that today we chose to do this and this news broke. Uh, so we've done one of our 90-minute video tutorials on the Denon DJ Prime 2. So if you're interested in knowing how that unit works. If you're thinking of buying one, if you've got one and you haven't read the manual, don't worry, we won't tell anyone. You can see how much detail we go into just by looking at the index here. So that's just been published today. Uh, and also this week, we had a good look at those headphones, these ones here that you can see uh, on your screen, but also that you can see on our desktop because we've been messing around with those headphones, uh, these ones here. Uh, the ones on the left there, you can see I've pimped them up to look like the book and these are the new pioneer dj hdj q1s which are really nice nicely uh priced uh, they're like 60 dollars or something so um we've got a review of those so all that stuff going on in djing all that stuff over there on the digital dj tips website uh, for you to go and check out if you've got questions about any of that or anything in your djing gear music techniques playing out promoting yourself ask away because from now until the end of this period i'll stay here for about half an hour from now uh, we will just answer your questions, 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 questions. That's what I'm here for. So Benedict is saying, I'm just looking forward to seeing what Pioneer brings to the table with the new gear. Yeah, we all are. We don't know when that's going to happen. We don't even know if it's going to happen. It could just be the ultimate tease. It could be about nothing. But it does certainly look like it's going to be a new media player, that new Pioneer thing. XDJ2000, says Kevin. Yeah, you know, I don't think it would have a CD slot on it, but we don't know. Um, I should be getting ready for my night shift, says Nikki, but I'm watching this instead. Good on you, Nikki. Welcome. Um, and uh, hello to just hello to everyone saying hello. I can't uh, I can't put everyone on the screen or that would be all we did all day. Dave says Pioneer are by far the best kit I've had, but so, so bloody expensive. They hold their price well, though, when reselling. Market leaders do not tend to be cheap, do they? Uh, is Serato 2.4 available now? The beta is available of the version that we were talking about. So you have to go and get the beta from their website, which has got some interesting new stuff in it. Uh, so if you're a Serato user, it might be worth going and having a look at that. And if you want to know what is new in it, go and look at that article on Digital DJ Tips that I just shared with you. Uh, DJ Willie says, I miss you, Phil. Why, Willie, what have I done? I'm still here, still here to help. Um, 
So uh, Nine Iron just says thanks for putting up all the helpful tools and stuff. Oh well, we're we're very um, uh, very grateful that you're in, you're enjoying them. So Paul says I'm looking to upgrade my SB3, which is the small Serato controller, and thinking maybe a DDJ1000. Is it still worth the price today? Thanks. Yes, the DDJ1000. Although SB3 is a Serato controller, so you might want to go for the DDJ1000 SRT instead, the Serato version. But yes, you know they're. Controllers aren't changing very much anymore, to be truthful. Uh, and those controllers are pretty timeless. I so I reckon if you buy one now, you'll still be using it in five years' time. So uh, Kevin says, I think Phil already knows what it is. Oh, I couldn't tell you even if I did. Uh, we can only go on what we see. So uh, go and have a look at that uh, little video clip we showed you uh, and see what you think. Let us know. Uh, John says, I'm loving the House Mixing Mastery course, Phil and Steve. Now, the House Mixing Mastery course officially closed earlier today, but I'll be honest with you, it was so, so busy that we just left it open very quietly for a little bit longer. So if you do want to get on board that new course, go check it out there. It is, as, as of now, as of this second, you can still get it. But I can't tell you how much longer that'll be for. We literally had like a queue of people trying to buy it when we were meant to be closing the, uh, the launch offer. So we kept it open just for a few hours longer. So people, uh, people get that chance. Uh, all right then, is the CDJ3000 going to be £3,000 like the CDJ2000 was £2,000? Oh, Dave, you're wicked. Uh, absolutely no idea. I mean, we know no, nothing more than you do. It's all in that article, what we know. Uh, so, uh, is it, so Colm is upset about something. Says, I'm really pissed off about that. As a DJ, I regularly DJ on a few Facebook pages. What is it that's upsetting you? Colm, tell us. What's happened on Facebook that's, uh, that's not making you happy? Ah, uh, okay. Is it true that on the 1st of October, Facebook is banning live streams? Wow. I don't know about that. What, all live streams? Surely not. They're a massive part of uh, Facebook. We'll have a look into that and let you know. If there's any news story there, we'll publish it on the uh, on the site. But thank you for sharing that with us. We don't, we don't even bother live streaming on Facebook. Uh, well, this kind of live streaming, obviously, but music live streaming, we don't bother with. We just do uh, Instagram. Well, no, sorry, we don't even do Instagram anymore because you can't. You can't do it. We do uh, Mixcloud Live because it's completely legal. Hi, Mixcloud Live crew. Uh, and also we do uh, Mix uh, YouTube because you can pretty much get away with YouTube nowadays. Uh, and we're still hanging on in there in t with Twitch, although I don't know how much longer. Um, is it really possible, says Amar, that Tractor will be sold by Native Instruments? Maybe then we'll start to see some real updates to keep up with the rest of the DJ software. Tractor is amazing for techno, but unfortunately, it's failing to keep up. We actually published a piece about that last week as well. Uh, and the rumor has it that it would be Alan and Heath that it's going to. We did ask Tractor for comment, but not surprisingly, they didn't give us any. So we know no more than you do at the moment about that. Jason says, where do you think Serato is going with the MIDI advancements? I'm starting to think they have more in development than what we see in the new beta. Yeah, so Serato have done some pretty big improvements to their software. Uh, in the latest beta release, which is the news piece we're looking at now. They've added Beatport Link and Beat Source Link streaming. Uh, they've added easier live streaming by making the audio available to all programs running on your computer. You can now use the laptop as a master out, which is really good. So you plug your controller in, you don't have to plug speakers in as well. And they have improved MIDI mapping. Now we haven't looked at what they've done there. We haven't had a chance to look at what they've done there. I'm gonna make a note now to try and look at that as soon as possible. We're so busy here um, that we don't get a chance to do everything we would like to uh, but i'm making a note now to look at that so you've obviously had a look and you think there's more to this than meets the eye in truth i don't know i don't have an answer to that uh, but uh, maybe if other people have had a look at serato's midi mapping and think there's more going on let us know uh, or let jeff know over on facebook in the comments so uh dj willie says if you use a door will the audio interface change the quality of your export or is it a door responsibility? I think this is a conversation going on over there in YouTube at the moment. Uh, but I, whatever, if you're using a, an audio interface, like a Focusrite 2i2, it's gonna sound awesome, whatever you're doing with it. So, uh, Phil, what do you think of DJ Pro's outside the box features, such as Neuromix, Looper, Sampler, etc.? Yeah, DJ Pro has always done things its own way, and I think it's great, it's wonderful software. Uh, Martin Moore says, I'm just joining now to watch. I hope you're well. I'm really enjoying your videos. Uh, thank you, Martin. I am well, apart from someone was pointing out in another video earlier. Uh, I've got, uh, I cut my arm and my knee and bruised my hip earlier. I was out running before the sun came up and I fell over on a paving stone. So I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself, but 
Apart from that, I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Uh, so BU says, on a DDJ, is there a way to set up the same song in deck two to an auto one beat or quarter delay to replicate the chopping effect like DJ Screw uh, to double the beats on deck one and deck two? So can you do instant doubles across two CDJs? And I don't know the answer to that. If anyone does, uh, let Jeff know on YouTube. Can you do instant doubles on CDJs? I should know the answer to that, but I don't. So thank you for asking the question. No, it wasn't Jeff. It was um, BU, uh, but he is on YouTube. Uh, so I've got a question, says Steve. With COVID-19, when do you think the nightclub and festival season will get going? I don't honestly think it will until they find a vaccine. Uh, but I think summer 2021 is the earliest we're looking at now. I know, painful, isn't it? Any news on a Pioneer S9 Mix Mark II mixer? No, but it is due a remake, isn't it? So watch this space. When we find out anything... I will uh, share. Uh, Daniel says, do you think we'll see something more, some new more Serato controllers this year from Denon or Pioneer? I do. I do. I don't know who from, but I think we'll see more Pioneer controllers soon. Uh, James says, hi, Phil. Always a pleasure seeing you. Awesome headphones. Uh, I get, I'm guessing your book was the inspiration for the headphone colors and not the other way around, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. When Pioneer said, will you look at these new headphones? I said, yeah, I'll review them, but only if you can send me some blue and pink uh, pimping up my headphones kit. Uh, they do look pretty nice, don't they, against those headphones, uh, against the headphones on the book. Uh, yeah, that's exactly why we did it. Uh, how is the Tractor AE integration anticipated to work? We have no idea, Sam. We're just uh, waiting for news on that one. Uh, Stefan says, I tested the beta version of 2.4 Serato. Uh, good on you, Stefan. No, we haven't managed to test it ourselves. Next. Uh, Martin says, I asked you about the NDX500, which is Newmark's budget media player and CD player. I bought them and I'm really enjoying them. And I got the SB3 as well. Oh, good on you, Martin. Good to hear that. Uh, I just got my XDJ XZ or XZ, says Camel Scuts, and I want to get a mic to use for a podcast or a live DJ mix. Get a dynamic microphone that plugs into the mic socket of your unit and that'll last you well. A Shure SM58 might be a good choice. Uh, so have a look at that. Uh, what about buying aftermarket, aftermarket accessories, says DJ Nine Iron, for Macs or definitely stick with strictly Mac brand accessories? It's all right. Just go for ones that have got lots of stars. I think, you know, for your power power um, units, probably stick with, with, with Apple ones. But we use uh, non-Apple branded stuff on our Macs, especially for our, um, you know, our little keyboards that we use. That's the keyboard we use to control the uh, scenes. Look, hey. Changes all the scenes. If I want to jump over there quickly, I get out of my chair and on my little keyboard, I press that and I go, hey, we're live digital DJ tips. And then when I'm coming back to you, I press the other one, you see? So, uh, but that's not an Apple keyboard. That's just a Satechi uh, keyboard. Let me get my chair back. When I'm doing the jumping around in the studio, this chair isn't here, but for this Thursday one, I like to sit down. Uh, and also we use a different brand, you know, for the getting USB A's into here and stuff. So no, I think just make sure it's got four and a half stars on Amazon, you'll be all right with it. Uh, I just bought Serato Video and my videos are either corrupt or they uh, play, do not play without delay. Uh, I have a new laptop, what can I do? No idea. If anyone can help be you with Serato Video, he's over on YouTube or she's over on YouTube. But do ask Serato, their support is really very good. Really excited for the flexible beat grids in Prime 1.6, says D says uh, Jack. So Prime 1.6 for Denon DJ Prime users has now got beat grids where you can beat grid any track, even if it's played by a live drummer. And even if the BPM goes from like 80 to 120 uh, and it will keep everything in time, which is really cool. Leo says killer classic house set the other day on the balcony. Oh, thank you, Leo. I enjoyed that. It's on our YouTube channel if you want to see me playing a a back to 88 to 92 house set. Really enjoyed that. Um, Chris says, Chris doesn't think that Pioneer is releasing new CDJs. Chris says, I think it's too early in this current COVID crisis. You know what? I think that is true. I mean, our clubs are really going to be replacing their kit in this in this time. But then again, if it was planned to come out now, maybe there's, you know, maybe that's the way it's going to go. But yeah, good point you make there. Uh, would you say the same about the XDJ XZ? What you said about the DJ 1000, says Phil. Uh, is it still great for the foreseeable future? You know, it, that technology is old. The It's the same technology that was in the XDJ RX all those years ago. So while I think that will still be perfectly usable for the future, I do think that within a year, Pioneer will bring out a standalone unit with far more 
uh, up-to-date technology. And it is my view. I have no inside knowledge on that, but that's my view, Phil. Uh, but that said, the XDJ XZ is a great four-channel mixer. It's a great two-deck standalone controller, and it feels and acts like Pioneer gear, which isn't going to change for the foreseeable future. So if you want one now, you know, I always say if you want something now, just get it. The computer I'm talking to you on now was literally replaced a week after I bought it. Do I care? No. Uh, because it's a very powerful computer and it's going to last me for the next five years. So, you know, if it does what you want it to do, go for it, I say. I'm scrolling down for more questions now. Dan is just sharing that he went through six controllers until finally setting on the Newmark NS62. And Dan absolutely loves it. So uh, Nelly, though, isn't so keen on the Prime 4. Sending it back because I'm unable to monitor my microphone in my headphones. Well, there we go. That's a, an esoteric need though isn't it why do you need to monitor your microphone and your headphones i'm interested uh but anyway it didn't work for you so thanks for sharing that oh apparently dave pierce posted about the facebook live streaming ban is it just music live streams or is it all live streams if it's just music i can understand that they're probably in the middle of doing deals with the record labels so they have to get squeaky clean before it all comes back again um so nigel yes unfortunately eric murillo has passed away uh just google it it's all over the place sad news um kyle says i'm wondering if there's anything else they can incorporate into premium controllers there's already so many functions i'll never use them all it's a really good point and you know as i was saying earlier controllers aren't changing very much the point is if it's got what you want go for it don't worry too much most djs use two decks and a mixer and sometimes a bit of filter and that's it uh they might loop the odd thing but you know most djs don't use half of what's in there i was talking to a extremely well-regarded fast rising and technically brilliant DJ uh, only this week uh, about uh, some work we're doing together. And this DJ said to me, oh, I didn't know. And then said something that was pretty like, really? Didn't you know that? If the very best DJs in the world are not using all the features on their gear, don't worry about doing it yourself. Just use what's important to you. Um, Can I Chromecast your mixing course if I purchase it? Says, purchase it, said Jordan. If you can Chromecast your browser, like any videos you're playing in your browser, like Chrome, then yes, you can Chromecast it. Uh, so I'd say yes, you can. Uh, Roger says, my Shure microphone with no on, off or volume control, I'm using it on my S4 Mark III. I'm told it sounds very low, even when I lower the track I'm playing. Any ideas why? Uh, no, it depends what microphone you're using, really. Uh, but if it's a dynamic mic, it should be all right. Uh, so no, I have no ideas why that is so sorry about that ah so it's um uh all music streams apparently that facebook are pulling well that's a big news story i'll get that one looked into and written up soon enough thank you for making me aware of that people uh lou says hey phil hi from tampa florida i'm i'm looking for a wireless mic unit what do you think about buying used versus new also what should i be looking for it's very different where you are in the world in florida it's different to here in europe so look on um, American mobile DJ websites and find out there. I know Sennheiser are always a good brand to go for. Uh, I would say buy new because they keep changing the frequencies that you can use that stuff on. Or ask your local mobile DJ chapter of one of the mobile DJ, DJ associations what works in your state. Because the important thing is to buy what's right for the wireless you're allowed to use. I can't afford Pioneer or Denon CDJs, says Mel. Would you recommend Gemini, MDJ 900 or 1000s? I wouldn't recommend Gemini because their stuff is sporadically released and sporadically supported. Sorry, Gemini dudes. I know the people at Gemini. They're actually sending me a new unit for review. But I would I would say if you can't afford the Pioneers or Denons, go for the Newmark NDX 500s, the same as one of our other um, uh, viewers went for. Uh, obviously, check out whether they've got everything you want, but they're a great budget option. More questions. I'm looking to purchase a Pioneer DDJ-1000 so I can be familiar with more hardware. I currently use an NIS-8. The question is, how hard is it to integrate a Pioneer controller to NI software? Should I? There are mappings out there. that Some of them are quite good, but the answer is it's quite hard. But if you really want the DDJ-1000, you could... Get it and try it with Rekordbox and then also use the, the mapping for Tractor as well. But no, you'll have to get a third party ma mapping. They are out there and some of them are quite good. Uh, so I'm just scrolling for more questions. 
Uh, I'm looking to get into controllers. I'm thinking Pioneer 200, says Paul, or would you recommend something else? If you're serious about it, go for a 400 because it's got its own built-in sound card and it's just a little bit more flexible than the 200. The 200 is a great little controller if you're an absolute beginner or very, very casual and you don't think you're going to push it much further. But if you can afford just a little bit more money, I'd say go for the DDJ 400 instead because for that little bit extra, you get a lot more. I'd like to say hello to Jason. We haven't forgotten you, Jason. You are on our Monday meeting list. <laughs> what I was talking to you about. We didn't have a Monday meeting this week. Turned out it was a holiday here. So I do apologize. But Jason, my man over there in uh, in the States, the number one wedding DJ in the USA. Uh, I'm glad to have you here. Privileged indeed. Uh, so yeah, yeah, mate, we haven't forgotten you. Uh, Phil, I just bought the HD Q1s and the DM40 speakers arrived today. I'm looking forward to how they're here. You've got some good speakers and headphones there uh, and a good match for each other, Tiffany. So well done. Do you think the stems feature on DJ Pro and on the other one, can't remember the name, it's Virtual DJ, uh, will, oh, you mean the Neural Mix Pro, yeah, will come to the majors like Serato and Recordbox? Don't know, Jeff. So this is the software that lets you separate the vocals from the instrumentals, from the drums, even from the hi-hats and stuff. Uh, I don't know. But, you know, that, that software is now behind the others, so maybe they will. Uh, it'd be good, wouldn't it, if they were integrated in more stuff. Stuart says, Serato, Serato video does not seem to work for a lot of us, but Serato does have a lot of good suggestions to try and improve it. Uh, Benedict, would the new Pioneer headphones, these ones here, uh, make a good backup pair? My current ones have lasted over 20 years. Wow, well done. Yes, they would make a good backup pair. Uh, why doesn't Pioneer make a DDJ-1000 dedicated to Tractor? No one makes Tractor controllers apart from Tractor. They've always made it a little bit harder for everyone else to do that. Uh, so uh, that's why. Mixmaster G, I'm going to steal the Bluetooth keypad switch idea. Uh, it's a great idea. Yeah, it is because you can buy switches like this for video software like I'm using that cost a lot of money. This costs like 30 bucks uh, and I've just mapped it. Well, I've mapped it using a piece of software called Carabiner Event. If any geeks want to know how I'm doing that. Uh, and I've just ma mapped those number keys and modifiers to work my software for broadcasting live. What company do you think is the most innovative and groundbreaking? Honestly, Jeff, Virtual DJ. Always innovating, always groundbreaking. Martin, I have trouble with my passive speakers that when I stop playing music, there's noise coming out. And what I need is a more powerful amp. It's probably some kind of earth loop. Try plugging the speakers into a different socket and see if that fixes it. Uh, I would say that's probably what it is. Has anyone else here lost their DJ work due to the change of bar or club or COVID? I just lost two of my residences, says Kevin. Oh, sorry to hear that, Kevin. You know, we are mainly a, a passion website, an amateur website. We're for people for whom DJing is their hobby. And I know a lot of people for whom DJing is a part-time or a full-time income are really suffering at the moment. So if that's you, commiserate with Kevin over on Facebook. Maybe share your stories. Uh, so... The Fish Dog says, I'm drunk, a CDJ-1000 Mark IV coming and a budget high quality deck with basic features and rechargeable battery for portability. Oh, really? Do you think that's what we're going to get from Pioneer? I don't know. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, but uh, let's wait and find out. It's all speculation at the moment. Um, you need to monitor your microphone and your headphones if you want to talk on live stream, says Nigel. Oh, well, maybe that's why uh, that is wanted for Denon gear. It would be awesome if Pioneer did design, uh, did have a Nexus design product that doesn't have the CD element. I don't personally like the look, setup or feel of an XDJ, says Gareth. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see indeed. Uh, let's keep, oh, uh, advice for the microphone user who was quiet. Try getting closer to the mic. I have it almost touching your lips. I discovered that recently too. Yeah, when I'm DJing, I have my mic literally not touching, but very, very close. I have to agree. Um, Flintox says, beyond about three inches, it gets very quiet. Well, there you go. There's your uh, solution there. Uh, if you can't afford a controller, use DJ on iOS. It's usable without a controller. This is love for uh, for Algorithm and their innovations. Uh, so thanks for sharing that, Mixmaster. Uh, Mixmaster G there. How can we DJ with our headphones wireless in a cheap way? You can't. You need to have a wire. Uh, there's always a delay on headphones unless you wire them in. So don't try and do that. Uh, just... Uh, just uh, DJ with a wire. Everyone's chatting to uh, to my man, Cleveland Terry, but I didn't see you pop up, mate, but good to have you here. Uh, and good to see that you are uh, getting some love from the Digital DJ Tips crew in the comments there over on Twitch. Uh, what's the best four channel DJ controller under a thousand, uh, under 600? Oh, difficult. Under 600, four channels. 
Any advice? Give it over to Joe, who is on YouTube. Let me just go and run over to the corner over here. This is where we keep all our gear. Uh, it's over here. Those of you, there's a few people on the call who've actually been here. You know where I'm going entirely. See over there? Those blue shelves. That's our gear. I'll shout at you. Green loop mix on four. Got to get that for under 600. Can't see anything else. I'd say look at the Reloop Mix on 4, Serato, good controller. Anything else under 600, I cannot think of anything. So uh, anyone else shit want to share, then uh, do so. Uh, I hear Serato is stepping up their streaming game. How can I get on the beta list, says Jeremy. Just go to Serato's forums. There's a beta, a beta section on Serato's forum. Why is Pioneer giving up market share by not making the DJM900 Nexus unlock record box 6? No idea. Uh, although generally it would be the media players that unlock record box, wouldn't it? I think not the mixer, but I don't know the answer to that uh, vinyl Vinny. Uh, okay, I'm going to add one, ask one or two, answer one or two more questions here. Uh, David is just pointing out the news from Denon today. Yeah, we actually got this one uh, covered on the website, uh, David. But thank you for helping to uh, to share that news here. The new Denon DJ with Dropbox, Beat Source Link, and flexible beat grids on Denon DJ Prime gear. And they've also added track preview on the Prime 4, which wasn't on the Prime 4 originally. You can go and read that over on the website. Also over on the website... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's get away from there. You can uh, read this uh, news story about whether we're looking at the, D the Pioneer DJ CDJ 3000, which we think has been teased. Certainly some media player has been teased uh, over there. Uh, also this week... We've got uh, a free video tutorial on the uh, Dead and DJ Prime 2, a 90-minute tutorial. Look at what's in it. So if you're thinking of buying the Prime 2 from Dead and DJ, uh, we cover literally everything. And you can click in here. It'll take you straight to YouTube and to, well, well it would if it worked. Ha, better go and check that. It'll take you straight to YouTube and you can have a look at our video. Uh, but the video is in there as well. So you can just jump straight to it. Uh, all right, then. So that's what's new. Uh, over on Digital DJ Tips. And that's the new stories we've been talking about today. We'll just take one more question uh, and then I've got to get out of here for today. Uh, so the final question is, uh, will there be a NAM show this year or will it be virtual? Unfortunately, the NAM show where we normally go in January to check out new DJ gear has been cancelled for this year for obvious reasons. Now, lots of you have asked questions underneath that we haven't had time to get to, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube uh, or even on Mixcloud. And I just want to give a shout to our Mixcloud crew. Hello to Bertie uh, and to Bill Badino and to DJ LV2D over there. Uh, it's good to have you here uh, on Mixcloud. Uh, we are building slowly on Mixcloud. So good to have you guys and girls here. Uh, yeah, any questions that you ask ahead of time uh, and we haven't answered underneath in the comments, or even if you're watching the replay of this, uh, you can ask questions in the comments and my team will get to you and try and answer them. But please also take a browse through those comments yourself and try and help each other out. A lot of you do that. And I, uh, I'm, I love seeing that. I love seeing you guys and girls helping each other out. That's what it's all about, really, isn't it? So uh, we're done here now for today. Thank you for joining me. Join me on Sunday, 15 minutes from now, wherever you are in the world right now, Look on 15 minutes and join me on YouTube, Mixcloud Live and Twitch, where I will be playing a DJ set live from our pool terrace, uh, as I have been doing all summer. Can't wait to do that. Uh, and then join me again next week at the same time, uh, 45 minutes ago from now on your watch, uh, on Tuesday and Thursday for another uh, Tuesday Tips Live and a Thursday Q&A. Uh, and we will keep an eye on all these announcements, all these things that we think are coming up. And as soon as we have news, we'll let you know, especially about the Pioneer stuff. So keep an eye on the website and the socials for that. But for now, it's just left for me to say, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you again very soon.